Unlikely as it sounds, say you were being held hostage in a foreign country. Would your boss try to rescue you? Well, Ross Perot sent a team of mercenaries to save two of his employees trapped in Iran. Iran was unstable at the time and EDS was pulling out. The Iranians were trying to threaten Perot's people to keep working and put two EDS employees in prison. David Schechter picks up the story from there. In 1979, those two Perot employees were being held inside a heavily guarded Iranian jail with thousands of prisoners inside. What he did to get them out was beyond bold. Based on news stories from that time, based mostly on Perot's own accounts, here's what happened. Perot put together a 15-member commando team. All the guys were people that worked at EDS, former military specialists, and he got a retired colonel to come lead them. Perot himself said he secretly snuck into Iran and visited his two employees in that prison to brief them on the rescue. On the day of the mission, a small group of Iranians who had been recruited by Perot's team, they formed a mob, they stormed the prison, and they released everybody inside. In the confusion, those two Perot employees also got out of the prison. They hooked up with the commandos, and over two days, they were safely taken out of the country. At the time, Perot said, we wanted to use as little force as possible to get them out, but we had the force if necessary. And that force included aircraft on standby, ready to fly into Iran to make a rescue. What Perot did was run his own covert military operation on foreign soil. Had he failed, he would have started an international incident and by his own admission, probably landed himself in jail. But he did it anyway.